Hey guys, JT here with a video on how to lower your Stampede 4x4. Um, I've gotten so many comments and questions on Facebook, YouTube, personal messages on how I got my Stampede so low. And I wanted to share this with you guys real quick. Um, let's see if I can get this straight for you. So there are several ways to lower this. Um, one of the first persons to do this, I think it was jet lag back in 2010 when the Stampede first came out. Um, he lowered his down and from that point everybody started you know, doing it going forward. So I don't want to take credit for what he did. I just utilized what he did and just put it on my Stampede and also on my Slash. So what I did or what he did, or what he talked about was, this is the standard mount that comes with this. You see how much higher up this is than the one that's on there, these plastic mounts that are on there. The only thing that you have to do is on the Stampede, you have these metal uh, mounts right here for the body post. You just need to, with this, unscrew these two right here and then install those metal posts on this end here and put just I think it's a two or three millimeter uh, nut on the other end to keep it down and secure and you just do that for the front and for the rear because all these um, you can unscrew these now on the front I did add a washer to it a plastic washer and I didn't tighten the front up as much as I did um, the rear and that being because sometimes when I flip if these are too um, secure in it does kind of rip through the body so it does have a little bit of play here and you can do that on the rear as well if you want but um, I didn't do that also you can lower it by the position of the shock mount on these Traxxas A-arms I believe there's six mounting positions this is the fifth from the sixth mounting position here and the reason why I didn't go all the way low with is because I want to keep my shock guards on here for the front and as you see there for the rear so in order for me to get this in the furthest hole for this to mount on and keep these shot guards on here what I had to do was to the top of this this normally comes mounted in the middle I mounted it on the innermost on both of these and what that does is when you mount that in on the inner uh, most post or mounts on the top of the shock tower it actually raises this up just a little bit so as you see, my stampede is pretty low to the ground. This is probably about as low as I do want to get this truck um, because I do still run it a lot and stuff. Um, and of course, for stability, I have the sway bars on there as well. And just so you guys know, this is the part number. Hopefully this focuses in. Uh, TRA, I have a little trouble focusing, TRA. 3727A. So it's of course Traxxas, TRA is Traxxas, but it's 3727A. And these are about three bucks. You can get them Hobby Town, Tire Hobbies, wherever, Dollar Hobbies. And what you do is when you buy these, you'll get two of these in here. So you'll need to buy um, two packs of these. Or if you have a slash 4x4 in a stamp here, you can do that for this too. Um, so you'll buy two packs of these, and you'll see it'll come with these body mounts, I'm sorry, these battery mounts here. And this is basically what I screwed into there, like I said earlier. And you see, I just secured that with the bolt right down there. So that is how basically I lowered my Stampede 4x4. Um, you can do this with, um, I've seen guys actually, instead of buying, because I think J Concepts makes some lower body mounts that are about half the size of these. I've seen some people take uh, uh, Dremels or even a saw and just cut these in half and drill a hole in it to lower it down because they still kind of wanted the security of the plastic and this ring that comes around it. But for me, I just went ahead and used those. I didn't want to cut into it and make it uneven and, you know, go through all. And as you see, this plastic does from these kind of wear and it makes your body sit weird. So, but that's, like I said, that's just me and my preference on that. But that is basically literally how I lowered my Stampede 4x4. So, um, you guys have any questions, um, put them in the comment section below. Hopefully I answered all those questions for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like or dislike, subscribe if you have not. And stay tuned for more videos. If you guys want to know anything else about my Stampede 4x4, let me know. Maybe one day I'll just do a complete overview of this and how to get the most speed out of your Stampede 4x4 as well with a 10 scale motor and a 10 scale system. So um, thanks guys for watching.